Hey guys, welcome. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's reading is the person on your mind. What is their next move uh, towards you? Okay, in your connection, relationship that you guys have with them. There are three groups. The first group is the blue calcite. The second group is the citrine crystal. And the third group is the blue appetite, right? So what is their next move? What are their intentions, okay? So if you do need to pause the video so you can take a moment to choose your group, feel free. But I will see you in your, see you in your reading. Hey, welcome. If you have chosen the first group, the blue calcite, then this reading is for you. The person on your mind, what is their next move, their intention, what is their plan in regards to you and the connection that you guys have. So the first card we do have is the tower in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, four of swords in reverse. Um, okay. Alright, so as usual, I'm going to be as honest as I can be. If the reading doesn't resonate, then just reject it. If it doesn't align with your intuition and the person as you know them then just don't take those messages on board um but yeah so what are what is the next move when it comes to you so this person's next move could be to make you feel emotionally confused um this is a manipulation tactic that they are gonna use on you or that they plan on using So yeah, they do plan on making you feel confused uh, because for some of you, they could be doing this because they feel like they're losing you. They could feel like you're slipping away. They could see that you're losing interest in them. Right now, you could be very clear headed, you know, either in general or when it comes to them. It feels like right now you are very focused. You are very you very much have clarity you know and they honestly don't like that they want to they don't like seeing you so focused so stable it feels like they do want to scramble you know your mind a little bit like they definitely don't want you to feel as certain and as self-assured as you are feeling now so they are it's almost like they're planning on wrecking that unfortunately it, it it just feels like they want you to feel as befuddled and overwhelmed as they are because right now they are feeling very overwhelmed frustrated they could feel like things are just not working out for them like no matter what they do it's just not working and they don't like that you are in quite a stable energy so they definitely want you to they want to be able to lower you to their level basically you know um so this person they're going to try and remind you of the feelings that you had for them they may try get you to think about the old days type of thing um but they also want to try and tear you away from someone else, maybe someone that you're close to. I don't know if this is like um, maybe a new relationship, um, your partner, if you've been with them for a long time. It could be a friend, it could be a family member. But it does feel like someone you are quite close to, but it feels like they don't like the bond and relationship you have with this person. They could feel threatened by this bond and relationship you have with this other person, you know. Um, <clears throat> so 
So yeah, this person's next move is to try and ruin your relationships. Um, they're going to try and isolate you and use you for what they want. They'll try to make you feel like these other people don't have your best interests at heart. So that it's like it's almost like they're trying to sow discord in your relationships, in your 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 mentality and how you're feeling emotionally. Um, and this is random, but for someone here, they want to get you to fail an exam or a test or an interview or something like that. Like some of you could be very much progressing in a certain area of your life and it just feels like they just want to put a stop to it, unfortunately. It feels like they could want to mess up your house, your... St Shit, that scared me. <laughs> Sorry, my hair brushed on my hand and I thought it was a spider. But, like, they want you to be in a place of fear and anxiety as well. The moon card came out to clarify that. So they could want you to be in a state of anxiety. They obviously don't want you to be afraid of them because they definitely want you to trust them and be afraid of other people and other situations. Again, like, they want to isolate you, you know? Um, but yeah, this person is hating on you. I don't know if I said this just a moment ago, but they could be trying to, like, ruin your finances too. This person is evil lying everything good you have going on for yourself right now will they succeed obviously not you know but just try not to fall for the ball and you'll be great you know you'll continue to thrive um And for some of you, I'm, I'm, I'm like hearing like it's not even about you letting this person back in your life. It's just about you ignoring the BS. It's like almost like I don't want to say a mosquito. <laughs> what? Well, I guess they do feed on other people, which is which is like it seems like that's this is what this person is trying to do. And there's like a pest, but it's like you can't get rid of it. And it's not I don't know. I don't know, but it just feels like it's not even really about cutting this person out of your life. Obviously, if that's what you you know need to do, then do it. If the, if it's already been done, then maybe continue uh, that path. But it, I feel like the message behind that is basically saying that regardless of whether this person is in your life or not, they're not going to have a negative impact on your on your life unless you fall for their nonsense or you feed into their nonsense when you let this person manipulate you you know so just be cautious of that stuff and you'll be good um, but in terms of their evil eye and stuff like that you know um that's not going to have any effect on you right <clears throat> so yeah this person doesn't want to see you grow and develop they want you to resist or fear change they want you to uphold their beliefs their ideas they could want you to adopt some of their beliefs and their ideas so if this person comes around you and like they start chatting like blah 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 blah, blah and you know if maybe let me see something It just feels like be careful when communicating with this person because they will try to manipulate you in like covert ways. They won't be on like blunt about it, like they won't be obvious about it. Um, yeah, so they'll be sly about it, guys. Okay. It's like it's like they will start talking about something just to put an, an intention or a negative thought in your head. Okay. I feel like that's the easiest way to explain it. 
But yeah, it feels like they, they want you to be more negative. Like, they want you to adopt some of their thoughts and beliefs that are quite negative and toxic and harmful. Especially because you tend to have such a positive disposition. It feels like they don't want to see it. Uh, this person is going to try and get in the way. So you can be unprepared for something that you have been preparing for. Their next move is to feed your depression, feed those negative thoughts. So please be mindful of what of what's your energy and what someone else is trying to like project onto you. And if you feel weird out of nowhere, just reject that shit as well. Because again, it feels like this person does have like an evil eye on you. Um, but yeah, their their next move is almost to encourage naivety from you, you know, um, and bad decision making. It feels like they they want to feed your insecurities too. Um, so overall, their next move is to be a dishonest POS, okay? <laughs> but anyways, that is all I had for. I do hope it could be helpful. I know this wasn't like a positive reading or anything, but I do hope it could be helpful for you guys, alright? Um, please take care. Bye. Welcome, if you've chosen the second group, the Citrine Crystal, the misreading could be for you. The person on your mind, what is their next move towards you? Any intentions or plans that come through? Or, we'll see, okay? So we have the Death Card upright. We have the King of Wands in reverse. And we also have... Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, I said this for the last group, but I just want to say that I'm going to be as honest as possible as I usually am in these readings. Um, if the message doesn't resonate, just reject it and keep it moving. Um, but I do hope the reading can be helpful, you know, even if some messages may not be nice to hear, right? But anyway, so the person you're asking about, what is their next move towards you? Ow. Alright, so this person's intentions and next move is to try and change you honestly this doesn't feel like it's in a positive way but i feel like them trying to mold you into a version of you that they would prefer is is pretty negative anyway um but yeah this person they could want you to be less optimistic They could want you to be less ambitious as well. They want you to be less independent. Um, so it, it, it feels like they also want to restrict you. Want, they want you to restrict yourself from people. It feels like they want you to be less social. Um, a lot of you here could be quite protective over yourself, either around them or in general, and they want you to remove that defensive barrier that you have, um, you know, so that they can intrude, basically, so that they can, so that they can take control, because that's really what they want, is to take control, and they, and they feel like they can't do that at the moment, because you are, you know, rightfully being quite protective of yourself it also feels like they want to make you angry for some reason i cannot clarify why they want to make you angry it feels some it feels like it's something as simple as this person wanting to see you out of sorts you know um, it feels like there's no rhyme or reason really to them wanting to make you angry. It feels like <clears throat> it feels like they kind of just want to get a negative reaction out of you, honestly. It 
it feels like they want you to get angry and then they want you to disappoint someone else um like you get angry and you know someone you care about is or, or someone maybe even someone maybe you work for or work with it's like they kind of want people to see you angry so other people will be looking at you different um so yeah this person they also want you to be less bold less outspoken they may not want you to be like that at all around them feels like they could want you to be submissive like this is someone that likes weak people they like weak women they like people they can influence i'm not going to say bully but they do like people that they can influence um so yeah like ultimately like this person's goal is to be able to control you it's like they plan on doing little things to change you um so it may be very covert it could be very passive in in what this person is trying to it's like say for example they want you to stop eating a certain food like they may like start talking about how bad this food is for you like they'll, they'll make it seem like they have your best interests at heart when really they don't really they're just trying to you know control you but they may go they may do it in like very covert ways unfortunately um but yeah they want to mold you into the person that they want you to be uh, they could also want to encourage you to distance yourself from some of your family as well this does feel specifically like family as well um regardless their next move is to move forward with you but on their terms uh they want to they want they want to isolate you so that they can be dependent on you and reliant on you they want to convince you to be very generous towards them you know they really want you to be naive you know but the way you're, you're you're showing up now i don't even understand why this person will have these kind of motivations towards you it just seems you know counterproductive on this person's part you know because you seem quite solid um but i know like some people can break down even the strongest of people so i get it i guess um but yeah they feel like they also want to isolate you as well because they feel like there are other people that will see them for what they are and deter you from them you know uh, so they will do what they can to create mistrust between you and these people okay um so they could also want you to make a big financial purchase for them their next move is to make sure you guys are obsessed with each other like they they want to create that that kind of you know intense overwhelming like obsession you know between you guys so that no one comes in between you guys you know um but yeah they want to create a relationship where you forgive them no matter what where you're very lenient in regards to them and their actions and their next move is to focus on the physical and the sexual part of your connection too uh, they it feels like they definitely want to open you up sexually they want you to let go of your inhibitions um, they want the connection between you guys to be intense then it would be hard for us to leave each other you know um, they want you to trust their awareness and their judgment and their guidance uh, it feels like honestly they want you to trust them so that they can be in charge of you that when you like they want you to seek them out and confide in them before making any decisions so that they can be the one to make that decision for you like they want to have such a an, an unrealistic level of control over you um and it feels like they will do whatever they can to boost their ego and they want to set up a situation where you are constantly feeding their ego as well 
and this is random but they may try to compare themselves to other people in front of you just to see how you'll react they want to see if you prefer this other person um or if you'll stroke their ego you know like they, they really want to see like how you handle some of their nonsense you know <laughs> how you'll react to some of their nonsense like their their plan of action also involves them seeing whether you actually see them and notice their real intentions you know so that so they're definitely going to be cautious they're definitely going to be careful like it feels like they're, they're not trying to give their game away straight away you know like they want to see if you're actually clued up to what they're doing um they actually want to see if you are strong enough and respect yourself enough to challenge them when they are you know acting a fool right they want you to see them and treat them as a leader when they don't realistically plan on even showing up as a leader should you know um, but they want those leader benefits if that makes sense um so yeah they they, they, they kind of just plan on throwing their weight around and um, being forceful or intimidating like it also feels like it's their plan for you to know just how high of an expectation they have of you um, and that they expect you to follow them. They plan on not being generous with you. Essentially, they intend to walk all over you if they can. You know, if, if, if you give them, them the opportunity to do so, they will. But that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I'm sorry it wasn't more positive. Um, but I do hope, like, if you, you know, if you and your intuition align with any of these messages, then I do hope it could be helpful in discerning this person's, you know, true character and intentions towards you, okay? But take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hey, welcome if you've chosen the third group, the blue appetite, and this reading is for you. <sighs> so what is their next move? What are their intentions? What's their next plan of action in regards to UK? Alright, so we have the, uh, what's that, six of cups in reverse. We have the six of swords in reverse. And we have the four of wands upright. Anyway, so their next move towards you is to make you happy. Not that they think you're unhappy or anything like that, but they could see you uh, being in a good spirit already, but they love to see you happy. They love to see you smiling and they want to just be able to add to that. They plan on putting their past to rest for you. Uh, they could feel like there is some mistrust that you could feel about their past and they want to show you and assure you that you have nothing to be worried about. They want, they want to create an unbreakable level of trust between you guys. They want you to feel assured that they will support you and protect you. It feels like they also want to have kids and they want to have a family with you. Like, that's their plan. Like, that's a goal that they're working towards. Um, 
Um, maybe it's something that they feel like they hope you both could work towards. So yeah, they want to have a family with you and they want to see what they can do now to support your growth as a couple and, um, you know, kind of just deciphering what those next steps will be so that you guys can reach a larger goal. They do plan on cutting someone from their past off. This could be an ex and they could want to do this to prove to you that they are over it and over this person they could plan on setting up a surprise for you actually maybe something fun um something that they you know something that they know for sure you would enjoy um for some of you they could plan on doing something nice for your birthday they want to make you feel like they only have eyes for you and that's their intention moving forward. They may also want to reminisce with you. They also plan on being more realistic in your connection. They also plan on building um, more of a connection with your family. But yeah, they plan on showing you that they're mature, that they're kind of taking you and taking the, the relationship serious. Um, they also want to confront and heal their past so that they can be more present and consistent in the present and the future. They could unfortunately have had a very child, very heavy childhood and they know they need to confront that shit before it before it continues to affect them before it affects your relationship and they do plan on having kids with you and, and, and marriage and you know all that good stuff but they know that they need to sort them you know stuff out before it impacts any of you guys you know on your future family um, but yeah, so they also plan on showing you more of their true self. They plan on being a bit goofy and playful, um, like just to try and encourage you to be playful as well. Um, they also want to care for you, love you without being possessive or feeling like they're being possessive or feeling like you're being possessive. Wait, is it you're being possessive? I don't really feel like it has anything to do with you being possessive. Um, but just for them and maybe like what they know of themselves, they definitely, um, they don't want to come across possessive at all. They want to open your eyes to the potential of the relationship you guys have. They feel like y'all could be really good together as well. They want to show you that you too can overcome any obstacles that you, you that you might be you know wary of, or that might come up in the future. Um, but yeah, overall, like they just have plans of looking after you financially too, and creating or maintaining a very strong foundation that you guys can continue to build upon. Um, they want to prove they are not immature especially if there is an age gap here okay they want to enjoy a happy home life with you and the other people that are, impo that are important to the both of you guys um, overall like they just want you guys to work in sync and work as a team and they plan on showing up in a way that is conducive to the intentions that they have for you guys moving forward you know um, but anyways that's all that's coming through though for those of you who chose this group i do hope it can be helpful and makes sense and i wish you guys the best bye